What is going on everybody? Thanks for checking out today's video. Today we're going to be talking about kayaks versus John boats. So if you're looking to purchase a new type of boat this year, whether that's a kayak or a John boat, this video should break down a couple things that you can take into consideration before making that purchase. Because let's face it, we all don't have a lot of money to actually go out and spend on a brand new kayak or a John boat. So being able to make an informed decision on that purchase is going to be a big deal. All right, guys, if you like this type of content, go ahead, stick around, subscribe to the channel, and let's dive into this video. Right, guys so the first thing we're going to talk about is price so if you're looking to buy a new kayak or a john boat price is obviously going to be a factor you're going to take into consideration so this during this whole video we're basically going to be looking at the entry level john boats and kayaks we're not going to talk about the very high end expensive stuff because let's face it if you went to the very high end of both sides of the spectrum you're obviously going to get a lot for your money so at the basics here we're going to be looking at you know probably kayaks under a thousand dollars and also john boats under probably fifteen hundred dollars is what we're going to look at for price check out my diy kayak guys i paid 225 bucks for that thing at walmart did a couple diys for the seat the fishing crate and all that for probably less than 250 bucks and that's what i use to fish on all the time and it works for me i got the camera set up on it now it just works guys i'm able to get into shallow water very easy uh we're gonna talk about some other aspects that make that kayak a lot more user friendly than the john boat is all right so uh you can get some pretty good kayaks for under a thousand dollars that offer you the ability to stand up uh, they have better materials all that type of stuff uh, but yeah you can get you a good kayak for under a thousand dollars now on uh, the john boat side of things my Sun Dolphin John Boat, I paid 550 bucks for that thing with inflation of the market. Now, that thing, I looked at Academy, it's like 750 bucks. So it went up dramatically 200 bucks in the past year. That is ridiculous. Uh, but that's just how the market is right now. So if you're looking at an entry level John Boat, you're looking at at least probably, I would say at least 650 bucks and up to about that, uh, that thousand dollar range. If you're looking at a, an aluminum John boat that also have some advantages and some disadvantages than the plastic does, uh, but you're looking at probably 1200 to 1500 bucks for a 12 foot up to probably, I would say a 14 footer, anything over 14 feet, you're probably going to be paying a lot more than 1500 bucks for. All right, guys, so that is price. I would say entry level, definitely the price goes to the kayak. If you're just looking to get out on the water, try a new type of fishing if you've just been a bank angler and you haven't really got out on the water kayak is the way to go it's going to get you out on the water a lot cheaper than a john boat would all right guys the next thing we're going to look at is cost of ownership so when it comes to cost of ownership there are some different things you have to take into consideration a kayak it doesn't really have that much cost of ownership i mean it doesn't take up a lot of space so you're not going to have to get a storage unit if you don't have room at your house uh doesn't have a lot of components you have to replace i mean i've never wore out a paddle enough to where i have to go buy another one uh not the case with the john boat the john boat has a trolling motor if you're looking at doing a trolling motor and not paddling it uh, it has a battery that runs the trolling motor some different things that you know have the tendency to wear out over time so that battery you're gonna have to keep it charged up on a trickle charger every so many years that thing is going to go out you're going to have to purchase a new battery so that right there is a little bit on the cost of ownership side of things uh, so definitely kayak wins on cost of ownership there's just not a lot you have to replace or repair on a kayak unless you're dragging it down boat ramps and getting holes in it you might have to patch some holes which those kits are really cheap and they don't cost a lot and it's easy to do all right uh, same thing with the plastic john boat or an aluminum john boat you can patch those holes fairly easy too, depending on whether it's plastic or metal. Uh, so cost of ownership definitely goes to the kayak over the John boat. All right, so let's dive into the next category and that is functionality. And when I say functionality, I'm talking what you can use that watercraft for. So for a kayak, 
Most kayaks are made for one person only, not for fishing two. If you buy a tandem kayak that is able to fish two people uh, or seat two people, it's really not made for fishing most cases because you sit really close together. So if you're looking to fish more than one person, definitely go with a John boat. Uh, that is actually why I bought my John boat is so I could take my whole family out on the water and it's not just me, but I've also tailored the John boat to where I can fish with it just by myself and I can add a lot of different gear, lay out my rods very nicely, utilize that casting deck when I'm by myself and it works out really well. So uh, functionality, uh, it could go to both. I would say if you're looking at running more than just your self on the boat definitely john boat wins this category um an another thing you have to take into consideration is what type of body of water are you going to be taking that boat out on so if you're looking at fishing a big lake or something yeah i've done it on a kayak but i tell you what i have wore myself out paddling and it's just not that fun if you have a kayak that's a higher end one that has a trolling motor on it but then once again guys you're looking at a higher priced item there so you're not looking at budget level but yeah that could fish out on a big lake but a john boat if you had a little outboard motor on it is definitely going to be the best option for fishing a bigger body of water i've taken my john boat out on a bigger lake before with just a trolling motor i actually took out another deep cycle marine battery hooked them both up that way the run time was a little bit longer guys that thing done awesome i didn't really i didn't wear myself out having to paddle obviously um, and it just worked a lot better. And I was able to go out for about six or seven hours on that, the charge for both of those batteries and just fish all day with my buddy. And it worked just perfectly. Uh, not the case on a kayak. Me and my buddy both took our kayaks out in the same lake. And I tell you what, I was beat after that trip. And, you know, I didn't even really want to go out fishing the next day because I was so wore out. So, uh, functionality is probably going to go to the John boat on this one just because you can do more with it in the sense of different bodies of water. Um, yeah, if you don't have the trolling motor and everything on it, you can definitely get it into a smaller body of water, such as a pond or a river, which is where I fish with mine primarily most of the time. A kayak also does really well with being able to go out on different bodies of water, such as small ponds. There's a lot of ponds near me that I, I just can't get my John boat in because I'm gonna have to drag that thing a long ways and it is heavy. Uh, the kayak, you know, it only weighs probably, I would say 60 pounds fully loaded. And I could just drag it with all of my gear right down to that lake or that small pond. And I don't have to worry about breaking my back doing it. So functionality, Goes to the John boat. Kayak is right behind it, though, with being able to do multiple different things, but they both shine in their own right, I guess. So uh, this one's kind of equaled out because there's too much going on with this category. Uh, this, the next category we're going to talk about is ease of use. And there's a couple things that fall under this category as, as well. Uh, loading and unloading is a big one. So obviously the kayak is going to be a lot lighter uh, with the entry level ones, you're not going to have all that high density plastic. It's going to be a thinner plastic. It's got to weigh less than that John boat. I promise. Uh, it takes me literally less than a minute to load my kayak and get it fully strapped down and everything. It's just super easy to do. And it doesn't take a lot of effort. I'm not breaking my back trying to do it. Uh, not the case with the John boat. The John boat also, it doesn't take that much time to do it because I've kind of got a system down check out my video of how to load a John boat. But even with that system down, it's still, it's pretty heavy with all the gear and stuff in it because I'm trying to be as fishing as possible. So, you know, I'm having to put a lot of effort into loading this John boat on the truck. And even though it only takes less than a minute to do, I'm still putting a lot of effort into it. So uh, also the kayak is able to load on different types of vehicles. If you don't have a truck like this, you can put a kayak on top of your car, on top of your SUV, if you have a rack or something like that. Hey, I guess you could do it without a rack. You just have to strap it down real nice and uh, don't worry about your paint getting scratched. But definitely the kayak is able to fit on multiple different vehicle types. Uh, not with the John boat, I don't think you can do that. Especially, maybe you could if you didn't have anything in it. Um, 
but that's probably not going to be the best option for you. Definitely go with a kayak if you don't have a vehicle like a truck that you can transport it in. Uh, the next thing is paddling versus using a motor. And I've kind of already talked about it, taking it out on a bigger lake. Paddling does wear you out. So if you're not looking to get much into the uh, fitness aspect of it or have to put a lot of effort into it, kayak might not be for you because you're going to have to you're going to have to put some effort into it paddling that thing along unless you have a motorized one uh, on a john boat if you don't have a motor you're going to be paddling the crap out of it too and that does take a lot more effort than a kayak because that that boat does not go through the water very easily uh, so you're going to want a trolling motor at least or an outboard motor for it i only run a trolling motor uh, just because i don't have the money to go dish out you know 12 1500 bucks on a new outboard motor but it gets me to A and B on the river that I fish and it works out well. Uh, and I don't have to put a lot of effort into paddling. I just twist the trolling motor and I go where I want to go. And that is very simple for me. Other thing under ease of use is storing your boat. So I store my kayak either in my garage, leaned up against the wall, or I put it up in the ceiling of my garage on some hooks and it's tucked out of the way. I don't have to worry about it being in the way of anything. And throughout the winter time, I usually just leave it hung up there and it's not bother me at all. Uh, not the case with a John boat. John boat, uh, if I leave it in my garage, which I do a lot of the time, cause I leave my electronics, trolling motor, everything else just wired up on it. Uh, I'll leave it in the garage and that thing takes up half of my garage, which isn't ideal. So this past winter, I actually took off all the electronics, started using the kayak a little bit more, and I placed the John boat outside, leaned against the house. So I leaned it up against uh, the house. That way it doesn't get water on the inside uh, because I do have a lot of holes and stuff in it from drilling out things for the electronics. So I wanted to lean it upside down to eliminate that from happening, but it does take up space. So if you live in a place that you can't store a John boat, this is gonna to go to the kayak all day. It's just a lot easier to keep it stored. And especially if you have a John boat that has a trailer, definitely don't have a lot of room to store one of those. So take that in consideration too if you're looking at buying a kayak or a John boat. All right guys, easy use is also a tie, just like functionality, because if you're looking to paddle, it's gonna wear you out. That goes to the John boat. It's just a lot easier to run a trolling motor but on the flip side of things, if you're looking at loading and unloading, it's gonna go to the kayak because it's easier to load and unload. Also with a John boat, a lot of times you use a trailer for that. And that's just another item you have to go out and purchase and store. And it does take time to load and unload that trailer. And it takes up space at the boat ramp and all of that. So definitely it goes more to the kayak, I would say in this sense, but it's kind of a tie as well. All right, so the next one is fishability. That's a big one, right? We all want to get on the fish. We want to be able to fish very efficiently and functional. And I would say uh, both of these have their ups and downs as well. So if you're looking at standing up, being able to stand up on your boat, they do make a lot of kayaks you can stand up on. I do not have one of those kayaks. On a budget level kayak, you're probably not going to be able to stand up. They're just not made. Uh, to stand up on the research and development that goes into them. They just don't really focus on being able to build that kayak to where you can stand up efficiently on it. Like they do with the higher end kayaks. Uh, but with a John boat guys, I can stand up on that thing all day long and fish. I can flip pitch everything off of that while standing up and not have to worry about falling in guys. You got to watch those big hook sets though. You might fall in on those, but you know, I don't really have a problem with that either if you learn how to balance your weight just right. And, you know, I've built those casting decks and the different updated floors for that John boat, which makes it a lot easier to stand up and fish with too. Uh, the kayak that I have, I can stand up a little bit, but guys, if it's cold weather like today, I am not risking falling in and getting hypothermia or something like that. It's just not worth it. Uh, so definitely it's kind of a, a up and down with that too. Kayak, if you spend a little bit more money and get one you can stand up on, yeah, you're gonna be able to stand up. But if you just buy a budget entry-level John boat, you're gonna be able to stand up. From a seated position, you can put seats on a John boat and be able to 
fish very efficiently from a seat. Kayaks, budget level kayaks, a lot of times don't come with a fishing seat. So being, being able to get yourself up higher in the seat is gonna be a lot better. That's why I did the DIY seat modification to my kayak. That way it gets me up out of the bottom just a little bit more and I can make a lot more efficient cast and more accurate casts from the kayak. Uh, the John boat, I don't really, I haven't put seats on it. If I do sit down on the kayak, I use my cooler as my tackle box. So I'll just sit on that cooler and you know, it works just fine too. So uh, with this, I would say fishability definitely goes to the John boat just because you can stand up, you can flip, pitch, do all those different types of uh, fishing techniques and you're not worrying about falling in or something like that. Uh, once again, this is kind of at the budget level of things uh, because you're gonna have to make modifications to your kayak to be able to stand up or sit upright in a, in a kayak. All right, guys, I hope you like this video. Once again, this is just some of my opinions. Don't get mad one way or the other. Uh, I'm sure that, you know, we could argue this all day long, which one could win. This is just to give you a little bit of insight if you're looking to make a purchase this year on which might be better for you. Just based off some of my experiences, because I do have a kayak and a John boat, and that's primarily all I use to fish. I'm not a big lake bass fisherman. I usually just pond hop and, you know, fish off of a kayak or John boat on the river, and that is about it. So I keep it really simple, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like. Also, subscribe to the channel so you can get more content like this every day. And guys, at the end of the day, if you don't want a kayak or a John boat, hit the riverbanks, get you a set of waders, go out there, wade in the water. You can catch them just as good. You're not going to be able to access as many locations. But guys, you're not going to be spending any money doing it. All right, guys, I'll catch you in those next videos and keep it blue collar.